Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Universal Studios Orlando. We're gonna be going around trying some of my favorite snacks in the park, riding some rides, and also see what's new, what's going on. Halloween Horror Nights is starting in just a couple of weeks and I am so excited for that. I just decided to come out and have a beautiful Universal Studios kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. Today is August 20th, 2022, and it is a beautiful day out. It's 92 degrees out. It says that we're supposed to get some showers a little bit later on today, but that's just Florida. It doesn't look like it, and I think we're going to have enough time to do Universal Studios side and Islands of Adventure. Like I said, Halloween Horror Nights is just 12 days away, and I'm so excited for that. I'm going to be here for opening night, and there's a lot of new things that they have going up inside the park. But today, I kind of just want to ride some rides, eat some food. I'll show you some HHN stuff, but mainly it's all about just hanging out in the park. Before I make my way into Universal Studios, I did want to stop here at Voodoo Donut. I feel like I don't give this enough attention. I love getting the donuts in here and maybe I might grab one today or maybe I'll just look at them and kind of wish I grabbed one. But there are so many amazing donuts, I kind of feel like I should show you. In the competitive world of donuts and theme parks, between Everglades and Disney Springs and Voodoo Donut here at CityWalk, I think my vote has to go to Voodoo Donut. I mean, I love the concept of it. I think they have better donuts. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments. I just love coming here at all. Good things come in pink boxes, and there are a lot of donuts to choose from. They actually have a special annual pass holder appreciation donut that I think I'm gonna get. And then also I wanted to try this Universal Orlando creamsicle one. So I'm very excited. They have so many donuts, so look at all this. It is really, really cool in here. I really wasn't trying to get any donuts today, but the voodoo was just too strong. The voodoo was too strong, so now I'm walking away. Good things come in pink boxes. All right, and here it is. This is what I ended up getting. I got the universal orange scroll, and then also the mango ginger kiss. This is the annual pass holder exclusive. And don't they look so amazing? And like I said, I just love the presentation of them. I mean, Voodoo Donut really knocks it out of the park. All right, let's give these the one, two donut test here. One or two bites. The reason I get two donuts is because I want to show the pass holder ones, but also a lot of people aren't pass holders, so they can't get it. So I get something else so I can show you guys. First thing is, the pass holder donut we're gonna start off with this and it's a mango ginger kiss look at this I, i'm kind of excited for it i mean I'm, I'm gonna go in for it we're going for the bite here oh boy i was definitely not expecting all that mango custard filling in there and it's topped with a ginger icing and crystallized ginger this is a really good donut i mean i like it a lot especially because it's a unique donut mango and ginger you know what i mean so i kind of like it i like that it's for pass holders now for the universal orange creamsicle bar look at this and i like this one i feel like this one has a better look to it like it looks better but we're going for it. we're going in oh man no that's too good if i would have to choose i mean I really like orange better than mango, so I have to go with this bad boy. I mean, this, I mean, it's, it's the clear winner for me. But if you like mango better than orange, you might like the other one. Holy moly, though, I have to say, today has to be one of the hottest days I've been at Universal Studios in a while. It is brutal. The temperature doesn't seem that high, but the humidity is super, super high. And I keep on wiping my face because I'm sweating so much. I got my towel right here, and I just keep on wiping, try to keep cool, you know? And enough with the donut business. Even though the orange creamsicle one was definitely my favorite. But you know what else is orange? Pumpkins. And look at this. We're coming up on our first scare zone. All set up and ready to go. And I love this. It looks so good. I cannot wait for Halloween Horror Nights like I said. And I think a lot of these pumpkins are from Wicked Growth. And Lil Boo's up there. Somewhere up there. Somewhere out there. I don't know about you guys, but Wicked Growth was definitely my favorite house last year. Like, I am so excited to see this scare zone this year, especially at nighttime. And I also loved the forest when it was all the pumpkins too. So like, this is really, really cool. I can just picture people popping out now. Like, wait till it gets dark and it's actually HHN. Like, this is gonna be so awesome just to walk through there. 
Usually whenever I walk into Universal Studios, I always go straight. I never actually go the opposite way, so I think I'm gonna do that today. And also I wanted to point out my awesome Jaws Roosevelt shirt. I figured it was the perfect shirt for Universal Studios. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Make sure you guys check it out. They have some amazing shirts. And there's a link in my bio with promo code PMM20 to get 20% off. But take a look at this shirt. I mean, if you love Jaws, you're gonna love this shirt. Like I said, I'm gonna actually go down this way. I see the mystery machine out, so I'd love to see the gang or Scooby-Doo and everyone out right now. I'm not too sure if they're out or if it's just the mystery machine, so we'll take a peek see. And also, you can see we're setting through another scare zone here. Oh, I see them. I see them, they're actually right over there. I wasn't able to finish up my Voodoo Donuts because, I mean, they're pretty big donuts and we just wanted to try them to show you guys, but I probably should have brought them and showed them to Shaggy and Scooby because they, they probably would be down with that. They definitely would be down with the Voodoo Donut. At the moment, it looks like the line is capped off to meet uh, Scooby-Doo and Shaggy and everyone, but they are going to be hopping in the mystery machine and driving away soon, so I think that's kind of cool. Look, you got some Scooby snacks in there too. Some Scooby snacks. I think I'm kind of excited to see them drive away in this. And I like how they have the window down even too, so you can actually take a look-see in there. But it's really nifty. Also, I really think it's cool how they're actually kind of in the middle of a scare zone. So it's kind of like they're on a mystery because it's a little bit spooky. Like, you know what I mean? So it's like the perfect, like, it's the perfect setting. Look at this. Very awesome. See you later. See you guys. Have a great one. Look at this. It's like they're walking through a little spooky setting. They're gonna hop in the mystery machine and then drive off. That is too cool. And this fine gentleman just found those keys laying on the ground. <laughs> bye bye. Have a groovy one. Have a groovy one. <laughs> Honestly, I think that is so cool because it adds another level to like character meet and greets Especially when I feel like it's a show like they're actually like coming and they're driving like the mystery machine Ooh, Marilyn Monroe is walking our way right now Seriously, look at this. You got Marilyn right there, and then you got Homer Simpson behind her. How you doing darling? Oh the twirl. Oh, that was that was magical magical. I say oh Magical. <laughs> I feel like I caved under pressure and I called Marilyn Monroe darling. I'm like, hi there, darling. I was trying to think of something old timey to say and that came out. But isn't it cool? I feel like all the characters are like out and about right now. I even see SpongeBob. Within like two minutes, we have seen Scooby-Doo and the gang. Then we saw Homer, Marilyn, and now we're seeing SpongeBob and Squidward. Look at this. And they're just dancing. They're roller skating. Seriously, how cool is this? Right in front of Mel's drive-in, too. So that was really awesome. I think I'm gonna walk that way every time now. I'm so happy I didn't just go straight the way that I walked and I actually came back. Got to see all those great characters. One of the things I'm probably most excited for HHN this year is the weekend. And right here, they're gonna have an after hours nightmare bar. Look at how cool that is. I love the weekend, so this is gonna be a lot of fun. Like I mentioned before, they're doing pass holder appreciation days right now. And I know that they have a whole bunch of different food items like over at Voodoo Donut, but they also have a special burger at Finnegan's, which I feel like I'm gonna have to try. I think we're gonna have to get the burger at Finnegan's because it's a special pass holder burger and I love it. I love it there so much. The pass holder appreciation days are from August 15th to September 30th. And like I said, Finnegan's has that special burger, the Maloney stack, half pound all beef burger, braised short rib, beer battered onion rings, ale cheese sauce served with wedge fries. So that sounds amazing. And I wouldn't mind stopping into Finnegan's because uh, it's a good place to cool off. So now that I'm all excited for that burger, we're gonna actually head back the way I wasn't gonna go and make our way back down that way. But I did start on a different path this time and it was worth it. Oh, it also looks like we just missed Optimus Prime. Looks like he's heading on in. Oh. Welcome recruits. Head to the next facility for your training. <laughs> I 
I think he's startled by something. Oh! Decepticons reported in the area. There he goes. 100% I have to say, Optimus Prime is amazing, but I fangirl when Megatron comes out. Megatron is so fun and entertaining. Definitely one of my all-time favorite meet and greets in the park. He's just so cool to actually just talk and communicate with. Hi, how are ya? <laughs> Like I said, I think maybe we should just make our way over to Finnegan's here just so we can sit down and cool off for a little bit, have a burger, but here's a lot more of the HHN stuff. I am so excited. Also, it looks like the Blues Brothers are coming out here. Oh, actually, I see the Blues Brothers dancing at the moment. Whoa, this has been a great start to the day. I'm loving my day so far. That applause going for our good friends, Jazz and Mabel. You guys have been a great crowd. Thanks for coming out, but uh, we gotta go. We're on a mission from that to that. Oh, oh. They're bouncing out. Guys, we thank you so much. We appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying yourself here at Universal Orlando. And don't miss the food colors by our fifth return. Four thirds. All right, well, let's go get that burger. Sorry, I keep on getting distracted because all these amazing things are happening and I'm like, ooh, ah, and then I want to show you guys too. Like, I I've never been like so quick, like everything happening so fast here at Universal Studios and I'm loving it. Like I said, today's been a great day so far. But we have made it, Finnegan's. Time to head on in. I'm very excited for the burger. Normally I always come in here and I sit in the bar, but I'm actually gonna sit down at a table in the dining room and enjoy my burger. You know, a little table service. I love it over here. It's a little bit more quieter too. One of my favorite things about the dining room here at Finnegan's is they have this random like baby booth, half booth. Like, you know what I mean? It's really, really funny. And I always ask to sit in it. So that's where we're gonna sit today. As you can see, they have regular size boots. And then they have this one right here. Look at this. It's like a little private one. I love it so much. Another really awesome thing about dining in the Finnegan's dining room is you get complimentary bread service. They have like a soda bread service and that's always free. And if it's free, it's for me. Here it is, the Irish soda bread with apple butter. And I like how it comes on a little shamrock. And this is really, really amazing bread. Oh, I'm so excited. And the apple butter is pretty good too. I feel like we're gonna have to break the bread. We're gonna have to break the bed. <laughs> break the bed. Ready? Here we go. Oh, look at that. It actually looks really good on the inside. Honestly, this is such a great combination. The apple butter and the bread itself. And soda bread, I think, always has like a hard texture on the outside. I'm not too sure. I really haven't had much like authentic uh, Irish soda bread. Maybe this is very authentic though. You never know. And this is, I think, the most extents that I've had. You know what I mean? Let me know in the comments though if you guys know if this isn't like really authentic or traditional. I mean, to me, I don't know. I like it regardless. All right, enough of the soda bread business. Now it's time to get down to the burger business. And I love it. It looks so good. We got some short rib there, the onion rings, and then this is the ale cheese sauce. I asked for it on the side because, you know, I'm a little sus when it comes to the cheese, but uh, it looks okay. It looks pretty good. Got some potato wedges, and I'm just excited to dive in. I mean, this does look really good. And the onion rings are like hand breaded onion rings here, I think. This is honestly a massive burger, though. Like, I don't even know how to approach this right now. Like, I, I, I guess I'm just gonna go in from the side here. Like, I'll take it like this. I feel like, I feel like Gordon Ramsay in that one video, the one when, with the burger, you know what I'm talking about? He's like, huh, huh? That's how I feel with this, but all right, here we go. Try to get a little bit of everything in one bite. That burger is so good. Honestly, I love it. And it's probably the best burger you can get at Universal Studios. Mel's Burgers, I'm not the biggest fan of, but this is really, really good. Especially with the short rib and the onion rings. Much too good. And I just like sitting in here. I like being able to just cool off and relax. I think they're gonna have some live music come on in a second. Eat a burger, get a pint, have a french fry or a wedge. Much too good. It also looks like the uh, Hogwarts Express uh, windows behind me. Like, you know the screens that you see on the, tra on the train? Doesn't it look like that? 
Look at that, isn't it so cool? I love the atmosphere here in Finnegan's. And this is also the place you want to be for Halloween Horror Nights. This is the pre-game spot. This is where you want to go. Well, I guess I have to say that burger did the trick. I love Finnegan's. Now I'm super full, so I'm gonna walk around, maybe ride a ride, just digest a little bit. But that was absolutely amazing. Very delicious. Normally, anytime I come to Universal Studios, I always find myself heading in to like uh, Diagon Alley and over to Hogsmeade. And I kind of want to do that, but maybe later on. Right now, I kind of want to go on the opposite side of the park. Over, uh, over there yonder by Krusty Land. Over there yonder, Krusty Land. Even though we just had this gigantic burger, I'm still thinking about all the amazing Horror Night snacks that we're going to be trying uh, in just a couple of days. And I'm so excited. We're coming up on one of the Halloween Horror Night like food stands and I don't know what they're gonna be selling here But I'm buying it. I'm buying it just alone on the pumpkin like I, uh, Doesn't this look so awesome? I'm so excited. I wonder if they have a menu posted yet Looks like they have like distinction sign over here for the menu, but I'm sure they don't have anything up yet. Oh I don't know whatever it is. I'm buying it Another thing I'm super excited for is the Dufftoberfest and I actually stopped to see if it's available now and it's not but that is one of my go-to drinks here for HHN and it's so good. I mean I like Duff beer in general but that Dufftoberfest that's something special. I was making my way back to ET because I wanted to go for a ride but it looks like it's temporarily down and I noticed animal actors on location is actually starting up soon and I love doing this show it's an animal like acting show where they have like cats and dogs they even have a Dalmatian and some pigs and it's kind of cool they show you how animals work in the movies so I think we'll hop in there for a bit just uh, catch a little bit of the show. one of the company's top trainers, your host, And yes, I did raise my hand. <laughs> now, Danny, so we're going to show you a few movie dog behaviors. Every good movie dog should know what we're going on a set. One of the first things we train them is a mark. I can put this anywhere, and she should know exactly where she needs to go. Go, Mark. Very good. Nice job. So, for lazy dog scenes, they are lay down, stay, and then on your side, on your side. Very good, nice job. Let me bring a treat for that one. Good, sit. Sit up. Lay down. Head down. Head up. Head down. Head down. Head down. <laughs> On your feet, back up. Back up. This is Dixon. Watch your hands. fun. I love seeing all the dogs. No Dalmatian this time though, but I wonder if Gracie can make it as an animal actor. I feel like she's got that connection with me because like we listen and we talk to each other and like I'm like, hey, do this and do that and she tells me do this and do that, but I don't know. I don't know how she would do it around others. Since we're back in this area, I thought it'd be fun to come back to the Curious at George like little play area and the Woody Woodpecker coaster. I really don't spend a lot of time back here. But it's mainly for the kids, but it's kind of fun though. It's very well put together. The Curious George goes to town area. It's like a little play area, but it's like a splash pad. So there might be a chance that we'll get wet in there. Or maybe Alicia's cool off. I hope for my sake we don't get too wet because I got the camera. But I just like it. Look how well themed it is. 
It's really pushed back here. George is happy because today he is going to town to visit his friend, the man in the yellow hat. I should have wore a yellow hat today. Stay dry cleaners. You may have to evacuate the area once again. We will be cutting off the water in the air. In the oh boy. I feel like this is dangerous walking through here. I don't know what to expect. I'm glad I'm wearing Crocs though, I tell you that. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to walk. What's happening here? Okay, I'm going. Ah! 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 I'm so happy I didn't go where that guy came from. Oh boy. It's like everywhere you go, there's just water everywhere. I'm, I'm treading very lightly here, walking very slow, because I don't know where it's safe or not. Oh boy. Ooh. I don't know where to go. Do you pull things and you actually get wet? Oh boy. Like, what does this do? Oh! Oh my lord! I've had enough. I've had enough. I can't, uh, nope. Now my feet are soaked. I'm lucky I'm not soaked and the camera's not soaked, but that is no joke in there. George is literally up to no good in there. And it's not just for kids, it's so fun. It's two levels and there's a gigantic play area there and everywhere you go there's just water and you press things and water shoots out at you. Not my vibe. <laughs> I'm glad I'm leaving. It looks like they're closing down the area for inclement weather so there might be lightning in the area. So that's why I'm leaving, not because I got scared of getting wet. Look at this little bee right here. Come here my friend. We can be as one. Another day where I strengthen my relationship with the bees. Me and the bees have a long history together and uh, it's a good relationship. We trust each other. Oh boy, I guess they weren't kidding with the inclement weather. Holy moly! Yeah, they're not kidding with the inclement weather. It's coming. Uh, did you guys just see that? I caught that right on camera. I feel really fancy. I think we're gonna have to start heading out or we're gonna be getting caught in the rain. And uh, I don't have any pina coladas. I really wanted to try to get one more snack to show you guys, but it is like coming down very fast. I feel like we're running away from the storm. There's lightning happening everywhere. I think we're in the clear enough that I can swing into the Today Cafe, see about getting another little treat and definitely a coffee. We need a coffee and I like coming here. I also like the Beetlejuice music playing right now. The Today Cafe is so nice. It's very nice and cold, AC, lots of good stuff. Look at all of this fancy food. They got a watermelon feta basil flatbread. They got cannolis. They've got a whole bunch of, oh, they have a 30, uh, a 30 Rock Midtowner sandwich. Lots of sandwiches, lots of soup, a bunch of pastries. You can see over here, very good stuff. Some quiche, and then some very fancy looking desserts too. Like they got a strawberry cheesecake on a stick, a confetti cake, a vanilla eclair. Oh wow, I don't know what to get. Everything looks pretty amazing. Looks like we made it just in time. Got myself a nice little coffee. I also like how they serve their coffee in coffee mugs like this. You know what I mean? The Today Cafe has good coffee actually. It's hot coffee though. Oh lordy. Gonna have to let that sit for a second. And then also we got the confetti cake. You hear that thunder? Look at this confetti cake. Look at this. I'm gonna try to focus it in on it. Look at that. That is absolutely amazing. It's, it, that looks good, a little coffee, a little cake. Holy moly. All right, but let's cut into this cake here. Oh, look at that. I hope it's not dry, because the, the way it kind of crumbled, it might be a little bit dry. A little coffee, a little cake, a little Today Cafe. Oh. That's not dry. Oh, that combination though. Oh, that combination bite is so good. Holy moly. Might actually put a little bit in there. Have you ever watched Mrs. Doubtfire where <laughs> he drops some of the uh, icing from the cake into the tea and he's like, how many would you like? I always feel like doing that with my coffee. Look at it. Oh, I bet you that adds. Oh, oh, there it is. We got a floater. 
Also, you get the little tiny macaroon on top here. So it's like you're getting two treats for the price of one. Oh, that's really good. As I was sitting here enjoying my coffee and my cake, I started to see some raindrops, so I think we better get running along. I see the ponchos coming out, so it's probably raining on the other side of the park. How funny is that? It's probably raining over back by ET, and it's gonna be approaching us very soon. So we better get going. Holy moly, look at those trees. They almost look like they're gonna get, go flying down right now. The wind is like, I've never felt anything like this. Holy moly, we are in the middle of a big, big storm here in Florida. My hat's about to blow off, I see lightning. Luckily, we made it out of there without getting caught in the storm. I just put my camera down and I beelined it for the car. I mean, it was, it was happening and it was a fierce storm. So I'm so happy that we made it out of there, but I'm a little sad because uh, my video wasn't done. Like I still had things I wanted to do at Universal Studios and uh, I figured since my video wasn't done and I needed to run some errands, I might as well just bring you guys along with me. So sad that the video had to end there, but Hey, we're gonna go to Publix. <laughs> you clicked on this video for Universal Studios, but got a surprise Publix vlog at the end. And I think that's kind of cool. Also, I want to point out my very fancy rental that I got going on right now. It is a Jeep Compass and I like it. I think it's really, really awesome. I'm still waiting for my car to be fixed. Uh, I, I haven't filled you guys in on that really. It's just that the fact that insurance and all the body shops are really backed up, especially down here in Florida because there's so many accidents. So they said that like my car to get fixed would be at least two months. So like it's been a long time. They just got the estimate done and I feel like it's been almost three weeks. Like they just got the estimate done. So my car's not totaled, it is gonna get fixed. I just got a little time uh, with this bad boy. So at least I had rental insurance, but it does uh, run out. So hopefully, they, they, ho hopefully they're pretty fast. If you guys don't know about Publix, well then you're in for a real treat. This is basically the most popular uh, grocery market here in Florida. And I never heard about it until I moved down here. And I love Publix. Uh, I love coming here to shop. I love here, I get my groceries. I love the pub subs. You know, the pub subs are, those are a thing. I've always had this kind of weird obsession with grocery stores from Insulacos to Wise to Wegmans, but Publix, I mean Publix is up there. I like Wegmans a little bit more because I loved how big Wegmans is, but Publix is just very, very homey, you know? And like I said, they have pub subs and from Pensil from being a Pennsylvania, I don't call anything a sub. Everything for to me is a hoagie, but Pub subs are just the thing. I don't call them pub hoagies. I call them just, the, I mean, they're pub subs. That's all I need. That's all I think of. I need to get some things for the house. I also need to get Gracie Goose some dog treats. You know, just a couple, a little, a little grocery shopping treat that I'll bring you along with me. Right here is the Publix Deli, and this is where they make the pub subs. Kind of like a Subway, but a way better Subway. It's like, it, they're actually really amazing subs. And then the chicken tenders are amazing here too. I like getting a roasted chicken. They have like a Mardi Gras chicken. And then usually they have some good soups, but looks like they took the soups away. No soup for me today. I have to get Gracie some treats because I haven't been down to Disney Springs to refill um, pup cakes. So I'm gonna get her something different, something that she hasn't had before. See if she likes it, maybe she'll like them. I'm thinking about these little ones right here. Three Dog Bakery, the original bakery for dogs. Lickin' Crunch, kind of looks like cookies. Oh wow, this is a big pack of cookies. Oh, there's two different flavors too. We've got carob and peanut butter flavors and then golden and vanilla. Crazy cookies. I think she might like these. I'm gonna give them a go. Maybe she'll, you know, like them a little bit better than the pup cups. I mean, I don't know. She does love those pup cups, so. All right, shopping complete. Time to check out and go give Gracie her cookies. Oh, I always like checking out the seasonal like shelves here. It looks like we're in full pumpkin season. We got pumpkin ale, Sam Adams Oktoberfest, Sam Adams Jacko pumpkin ale, and then also, PSL, pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. Ooh, I wonder if Dunkin's got their hot pumpkin coffee yet. 
I literally came to Publix to bring you guys along with me just to get laundry detergent, shrimp, soup, fruit snacks, dog treats, and fabric softener. Look at that. All right, Gracie, you want a cookie? You want a cookie? Huh? You want this cookie? What? You like it? You smell it? Here we go. Whoop. What are you doing? Chase that cookie. Oh, you got it. <laughs> I think she likes them. You like the cookie? No? I don't think she knows what to do with it. Go ahead. Yep. Oh. Oh, there you go. Yep, she likes it. And with that, I think we are done here. Such a random ending to this video, but I kind of like it. I had a lot of fun today, though. Got to hang out at Universal Studios. I wanted to show you guys a lot more, but like I said, the weather in Florida is very unpredictable. My plan was actually to hop over to Islands of Adventure, continue the video just showing off cool things, but we'll go back soon. Uh, Halloween Horror Nights, just a couple of weeks away. Like, not even weeks, it's like 12 days away. I keep saying weeks and I'm like, holy moly. And uh, yeah. That's just about it. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the little Publix at the end. I mean, if you did, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll start making some weekly Publix trips for you guys and showing you. I don't know. I always thought it was fun. But anywho's, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.